And yes, we need the new anti-air. abso freaking lootly We'll bring that up a scooch as well and see what we can do. Artillery support equipment is still a little bit low, but that's okay. We've got tons of infantry equipment, although a lot of it is still being upgraded. That being said, I'm going to scale back a scooch on this and give the factories down there. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly pleased with that. These divisions are coming in like one at a time, which is a little bit annoying, but that's okay. I mean, I suppose what I could do... Oh, Finnish Democratic... Wait, hold on. Oh, the communist it's Finland has chocolate. fallen. Oh, oh, whiskey and chocolate. Hold on. Oh my god. I, it, it's so excite. So excite. I can't even. Uh, we'll get you to do that. Um, how do you feel about Drambui? Um, for a while, I didn't like it. I didn't tend to like sweet liqueurs too much. Um, but one of the things is um, a very very popular drink. My father especially likes it. Is a rusty nail, which is, I think, half and half Drambui and scotch. And that I like a lot. It's got the right balance of... Of it sort of cuts down the sweetness a little bit, and then you put some ice in there too. It's just, just lovely. So yeah, that was B. Tarek asking about the uh, Canadian tripping laws, and then we've got the Ifrit guy coming in again. Figure I'll join you on that whiskey. Got myself some Pendarin. Cheers. Um, I believe there was someone in chat that got me that told me to uh, to get the Pendarin, um, and and highly recommended it um, on my last Scottish trip, and we got it here, and it was very good, very good indeed. Uh, we get the new artillery going on. Boom. I mean, you know, that cuts our production efficiency, but we're going to do it for... Ah, uh, maybe I shouldn't have, because we are low on artillery. I may have wanted to finish, uh, that... Oop, they moved their government to, Bataria, to Batavia. So, that's over here. Officially Netherlands territory over here. I, I do kind of wish... Part, it was very close to play a Netherlands game. And, yeah, you can move your government over here, which isn't what happened historically, and they're starting to start fighting back. Uh, there's a cool branch in the um, in the Dutch tree with this expansion. Um, there's, like, this this tech tree, or national focus tree, is awesome for the Netherlands. But um, you can go... Uh, man, it's so huge. It's just massive. It's bigger than the, the Mexican one. The Mexican one's huge. Um... Oh, right here. Uh, so if you maintain trade neutrality, then you go uh, orange bovin. I know it's not pronounced that way, but screw it. Um, and then you become, like, non-aligned. You know, only man in, in the Dutch government. This is all about putting Wilhelmina in charge. Uh, and it's awesome. You Dutch unity and all this stuff, Wilhelminism. Uh, it's great. But, yeah, they took, I don't know where it is there, the, uh, the leave. Oh, yeah, continue the war in Batavia over here. Now they're working on a western capital. Ooh, full control of Java gives you four civilian factories. Like the Dutch ideas are insane. They can, can they can fight like crazy from over here and be super impressive. I, I it was very close to playing that, very close. Oranya, mm -hmm. march mouth march southward. Done. Okay. Um, so we're gonna unify this, which gives us more claims that we don't need. But then we can seize the Panama Canal. Oh yeah, improve work conditions. Um, let me turn that off for now. Yeah, we need to wait for our conscription laws. We need one fitty. We have no discount to that, but that's gonna be okay. Honestly, the boven part sounds it sounded exactly like we said. Oh really? Just boven? Huh. What does it mean? I mean Oranya, like that's the house of orange, right? What is boven? Is it like, you know, Oranya forever or something like that? Orangy? On top. Ah! Okay. Above. Sweet. Love it. How many Dutch people are there? What the hell? Everyone's answering. <laughs> uh, modify. Yes. So we're going to switch up to limited conscription. And with conscription laws, at least it's like you can make it in steps because you get sort of a discount to the next step based on what you paid for here. As opposed to, you know, some of the other things like the economy laws, the price are always the same. So that is going to, you're going to watch our manpower start to tick up like crazy here as we roll out the new law, which is going to be nice. Turns out the U.S. is really big. It's going to take a while to invade it all. Focus description tells you what it means. The problem is... Uh, that's not the country. Uh, the problem is over here, I... Scroll, 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 scroll. Uh, you can't click on it. I don't know why it's like that. Why you can't click on the ideas of other nations. 
to get the full description, right? Like, we can click on, on ours and get some extra flavor text. I want the flavor text! Turns out the U.S. is really big. Quill, 2019. A lot of provinces for us to try to take on. Japan declared war in the Netherlands. Intervention in the Americas. So probably when we'd fin they'd finish this, they would get all crotchety about us starting our wars here. But turns out we're done starting wars down here. Fini. No faction. Wait. Invite Brazil. I guess they said no. We are going to have to improve relations with you, my friend. Because we definitely want to bring you in here before we start shit with the US. There's so many Dutch people here and that whole tree you should do a Netherlands run next time. It was very close. I was going back and forth, back and forth. Um, I did a practice game as the Netherlands and liked it. And I got kind of a glitch, sort of, kind of. That was weird and annoying and ultimately turned me off. And I was like, no, I'm going to Mexico. Screw it. Plus, I watched um, the devs play as Mexico, but they went call me as Mexico. And I was like, oh, we could go tons of different directions, which would be really exciting. So that was sort of, it was sort of a combination of all those things. So we're working on this. I mean, we're still well ahead of time, but that's okay. Um, but -da 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 -da. we don't really need any of this. I mean, the Sigma companies are cool, but no. I guess uh, we'll just uh, we'll get some industrial stuff. That's going to be fine. So national focus. Dun, 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 dun. Seize the Panama Canal. It's whiskey and chocolate. Oh, we got options to integrate. We're stuck in southern provinces. Does just this make them cores? Because at this point, presumably, we've conquered all this shit. I'm betting this makes cores for us. Liberate the Caribbean. Can annex Cuba and Haiti. It's whiskey and chocolate. Double whiskey and chocolate. All right, guys, it's time. We're going to seize the Panama Canal. This is so bad. This is, I don't know. It's both we're not ready, but also the longer we wait, the worse it's going to get. Uh, we got It's Cool Man Fight coming in to say the Dutch are almost as crazy as Cool Man Fight. We must fight the Dutch to take all the Dutch resources. You must do war uh, with all the people of the world like Germany. <laughs> we need to capture all this through waffle. The Dutch are kind of crazy. I mean, one of their defense plans involved massive flooding of their own country. Dutch people and water, man. They have a weird relationship. At large, I wonder if you should plan a little naval invasion to pop in behind these guys. There's a good chance we would just end up losing those troops, but maybe not. Depending on if they move their ships or not. Tell you what, let's take a trio of dudes over here. And give you some sort of commander. Congratulations. And we are going to plan a teeny tiny little naval invasion. From here to... To here. Oh, but again, we're not planning on attacking. Sorry, never mind. No, this is dumb. Um, go back just in here. That's going to be fine. We are going to just tank, 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 and be defensive. I could have built a bunch of forts, but there's too many provinces. Uh, we're going to try to burn out their manpower by being kind of defensively focused is going to be the idea. Uh, dude, large barge. Looks like the next run will be Netherlands with 80% of Twitch groups translating Dutch for you. That's true. That's really handy. <laughs> and Mr. Horse says, Boss earns a daughter, I earn a dime. That's why I watch streams on company time. 10 out of 10 poetry there. 10 out of 10. I always enjoy a good rhyme. And yeah, it's always funny. My, one of my favorite things is always like, <laughs> never poop at home. Only poop at work. That way the company is paying you to poop. <laughs> ah. Oh, it's the little things in life, you know? Uh, all right, we're still working on, yes, we're still working on that. This is good. I mean, the Intatech we might want at some point, but right now we don't actually have room in our comp. Um, production. Do, 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 do. Flooding plan isn't that crazy. Water defended us against double invasion for plants plus Great Britain centuries ago. So it turns out that now there's this little thing called airplanes. I don't know if you've heard of them, but it turns out, oh, can we go and invite Brazil? Hello, Brazil. Welcome to the party. Excellent. Wunderbar. Stop improving relations. Done. I mean, there's still some little guys over here, but I don't know how much it matters. 
I mean, what else are we going to spend our points on right now? We need 10 points just to start. Aren't you your own boss, so you're paying yourself to poop? Yeah, it's my privilege. I get to pay myself to poop. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll take this. That's fine. Just improve the tech a little bit. So it'd be nice if we had all of our artillery actually issued. Soviet unit has capitulated! Oh lord! <laughs> that is a big Reich! <laughs> it's laggy. It's probably peace conferencing. No? No, just, just figuring things out? Okay. <laughs> oh, rip free world. Reich's commiserate Ukraine. Seize the Panama Canal. Okay. So, we're sending the Mexican session. Uh, this will give us war goals against the U.S. We might just want the cores. So, let's see what happens here. I'm going to bring the speed down. Presumably they have to respond. Unlocks decision. Oh, Operation Just Cause. Wait, what? Oh, wait. Oh, little border wars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which could escalate. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. A lot more U.S. troops than there were before. Uh-huh. Okay. So we're going to start a little border skirmish over here. Oh, shit. They moved some more dudes in. Son of a... I think only the guys on this side are fighting. So they're gonna lose this border skirmish. You missed their window, they have like 50 more troops. Eh. Rescind the Mexican cessation. Or session. We're just gonna get claims on the US that way. Oh, wait, hold on. Mexico seizes the Panama Canal. No, it fails. Come and take it. Still threatened. We lose war support. Son of a bitch. It's not my fault they like decided to attack from this side of the canal and not use all of my troops. Because it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a proper, like, fight. The border skirmishes happen sort of, kind of, automatically. It's kind of weird. Anyway, I'm going to contribute more troops to this. We're not going to mess around. We're going to take this properly. Um, okay, you two. Yeah, see, they even took garrison troops. They took garrison troops, which are super weak ass, to be part of this attack. This, this automatic border war function is very bizarre. When I just cause both sides attack, something gone wrong. Are you still in work on? Yes, sir. Despite being below 50%. Yep, yeah, good, good. Yeah, get a bunch of claims. Texas, New Mexico, Arizona. Let's fuck these guys up. What could possibly go wrong? Guys, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Uh, there's a lot more troops there. And we can't, the problem is we can't, well, I guess that's not true. Even though the plan is kind of, like, makes no sense. I guess I can set up a planning bonus. Maybe I don't execute it. Because even if you're not using the plan, you still get an attack bonus. If you've got a planning bonus. So we can still accrue some of that. 
Uh, oh yeah, what happened to the general over here? Also, we've got we've got some points to spend. So you over here, um, reinforce rate charismatic. We are actually going to take a fairly defensive doctrine. So we're trying to we're going to try to defend and wear down their um, their manpower. Infantry attack, entrenchment. Um, it might be good to have someone focused on attack. In fact, I'm going to take you, hold on, you over here, unassigned. You're going to be in charge of attacking Panama. That's your job. Okay, you don't have anything to spend, neither do you, neither do you. Okay. Um... We've got one green dude. He's almost regular. How many days left? We might be able to like train him to regular. Ah, he'll he'll get the XP pretty quickly. Get some planes down. We do. All our planes are currently in Panama. They're all set for air superiority and close air support. There's not very many of them, but that's going to be their job. Try to get the air superiority bonus. Try to bop Panama immediately. Is that guy just Oh, uh, because they're being reassigned, so they're on route, so they don't you don't get to use their buffs until they actually arrive. He's a ghost. Train. We don't actually have enough equipment. Uh, gotta save some manpower. We're gonna make sure this is explicitly lower priority than anything else. But we can start training some new divisions. Get it kind of ready. That was really annoying. My coaster stuck to the bottom of the glass and then fell off. So I lost almost all of my whiskey. <laughs> like 75% of my glass of whiskey has now just disinfected my desktop. So that's nice. I smell like booze. That's great. Hold on a sec. It's better than Purell. But yeah, the coaster sort of suction cupped itself to the glass and then dropped and then poof! I'll just suck it out of the, uh, the tissue, it's fine. I'll just have to pour myself a new glass. Good thing I've got a whole bottle. Um, capitulate, capitulate. Oh, yeah, because there were still some, uh, there's still some communists over here. There's a little pocket of Soviet Union over here for some reason. Holy crap. This is going to be bad. Oh, oh this is so bad. But our manpower should still be going up because I think our new laws are still going in. There's probably something on the display here. Total manpower, a 10. Use this, this, this. Uh, maybe it all has kicked in. But we'll be making some more manpower changes. Maybe I should cut back on more training. Yeah, just have at least 100k sitting around ready to go. They've moved a lot of troops over here, you guys. Is Canada on your side? No. It's whiskey and chocolate. It's whiskey and chocolate. This is going to go very badly. We're going to start the war anyway because it's fun and awesome. But this is going to go very badly. Be prepared. Um, I think it might be a good idea, though, to train some more... Like, quite a bit of the garrisons. It's really, really handy to just have a massive amount to guard the borders. Do you have a... Yeah, you do. Um, do I have a field marshal? Yeah, there's you. There's Kale's. Um, hmm. It doesn't really matter. Ah, uh, the Ifrit guy, to make up for the loss of whiskey and then some. Thank you very much, the Ifrit guy. Oh, man. I have a drinking problem. The problem is the booze doesn't go in my mouth. Ooh. Demobilize our economy. Ah, uh, see? We have war economy, and we have less than 50% war support, so it will demobilize our economy and potentially create strikes and things. 
So, okay, these are people wanting to strike for it, or we can just hit this button and lower it to partial. Uh, but luckily, we're gonna we're gonna start a war before then. See, see, I told you it goes away. But now, at least with the decision system, it's not immediate. You get a little bit of a heads up about the thing. Fast forward. We're gonna start this war before uh, before the end of the stream. The Great Spillage of Forty One. I know it's tragic. See, they have a lot more troops on the border than we do. Oh my god. It's okay. If they attack us, it's going to be all right. September the 1st. Uh, upgrades. Done. Um, you know what? We're going to research this now. That's going to be okay. Come on, baby. Six more days. Let's do this. It's fine. Quickly, start a war. The economy needs it. Yeah, it's just a small... Hey! Uh, Nomad Gunslinger, thank you very much for the gift subs. That's amazing and awesome. Thank you very much for the support. That's huge. Um, yeah, a short victorious war. It's good for the economy. This is fine. And then what we need is the... Um, what we need is the announcer from Arrested Development, right? The, the narrator. It's like, oh, this is going to be fine. <laughs> and then the narrator says, it was not fine. <laughs> All right, done, 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 done. We will integrate the south to get the uh, the cores. That'll help with manpower and various things. Decision available? No. War goal available? Yes. War plan red. Was that to declare war against Great Britain? Man, oh man! If you could just do that, that would be great. We're gonna call in our all our allies. Done. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh no, they called in Canada! Guys, we were gonna be fine! But then they called in Canada! Seriously? That's a victory. That, that can't possibly remain. How could we possibly lose this? Uh, they have a decryption advantage. Oh, we both have a decryption advantage. Um, attacking from multiple directions. Yeah, but we're in the mountains. I guess, okay, both of these are attacking. Yeah, that's kind of legit. They're going to have attrition problems. Republic of Malaya, or Malaysia. There we go. Yeah, see, I was pretty sure we'd be able to defend here. We could always do a counterattack and things, too. Um, yeah, let's have non-aggression crack with the various axis type, you know, people. Um, we might be able to push forward here. The thing is... Oh, no, Luxembourg! Guys, Luxembourg getting in here. Oh, we got some... Oh, wow. I don't want you moving to the other front. Okay, never mind. Halt. We definitely don't want to do any attacks that are bad. Like, this is going to extend this a little bit, but then we get to capture San Diego. Oh, the canal! Thank you! Oh, I'm having a minute to pause. Go! Kill! Death! Yes! They, they have, like, no organization for some reason. Uh, lend lease. Artillery, thank you very much. Blow the Panama Canal. Okay, hold on. What was this? Too much scrolling. We cannot allow our enemy to use the strategically vital, vital Panama Canal. We must therefore begin preparations to inflict enough targeted damage to the canal to remain out of commission for lengthy duration. Greatly increase the difficulty of your enemy. Blah, 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 blah. So this, we're not going to do this. Wow, we'd use civilian factories. Because we're going to take the canal. But if we couldn't take the canal, blowing it makes a lot of sense. The Philippines, Ireland has been called in. I don't think Ireland exists anymore, but okay. Get in there. Oh, they landed some more troops, which are instantly getting bopped. Rip all your convoys. We're not going to need convoys for down here. 